Hello student, welcome to all. In this lecture, we are going to study Ilkovic equation, half wave potential, polarographic maximum. Let's start with our first point. Ilkovic equation. Okay, the scientist Ilkovic examined the factors which affect the diffusion current and deduce an equation on it. Okay, and he expressed the relation. He expresses the relation of the average diffusion current to the various parameters by the equation I d is equal to 607 N c d raised to 1 half M raised to 2 by 3 and d raised to 1 by 6. Okay. This equation is called as the Ilkovic equation. Okay. Ilkovic shows what? It gives the relation between the average diffusion current I d with the various parameters like concentration. Okay. N means what? These are the number of electrons involved in the reduction m is the mass of the mercury drop t is the drop time okay these are the various parameters okay it shows the relationship between diffusion current and the various parameter by the equation that equation is called as the Ilkovic equation where in this equation rd it is the diffusion current which is expressed in micro amperes okay unit is very important so the diffusion current unit is Okay, it is expressed in unit microampere. N, these are the number of electrons involved in the reduction process. Okay. Then D, it is the diffusion coefficient of the reducible substance in the in centimeter per second. D is the diffusion coefficient of reducible substance and its unit is centimeter second inverse. Okay. Then C. Capital C, it is the concentration of electroactive substance in millimoles per liter. And M, small m, it is the mass of mercury flowing through the capillary in milligrams per second. M is the mass and its unit is milligram per second, mass of the mercury drop. T is the drop time in second. The Ilkovic equation point out the following important facts. Okay, Ilkovic equation shows what? The equation has constant, okay, and it is equal to 607, 607. In this equation, look at here, that 607, it is a constant. Okay, and the constant is slightly temperature dependent. The equation holds well only when t time t drop time t is between 3 to 7 second okay this equation holds well only when time t is between 3 to 7 second the term m raised to 2 by 3 and t raised to 1 by 6 are obviously depend upon what m is what it is a mass of mercury drop t it is a drop time so these two parameters are depends on the character and size of the capillary Okay, therefore these two are called as capillary parameters because m raised to 2 by 3 and t raised to 1 by 6 these are depends upon the character and size of the capillary. The term n, c and d raised to 1 half are determined by the properties of the solute that is electro reducible species and the solution. So these are called as reducible species parameters so the observed diffusion current id it is directly proportional to the concentration of electroactive substance okay when all these parameters are held constant that means n d these are the solute parameters or reducible species parameter and m and t are capillary parameters when this capillary parameter and solute parameter are held constant at that time diffusion current is directly proportional to the concentration of electroactive substance it is the Ilkovic equation and its important facts okay the next point is the half wave potential it is a very important term in this chapter half wave potential look at the diagram we know that polarogram means what it is a plot of current versus voltage it is the same sigmoid step sigmoid shaped curve or step shaped curve okay here the potential okay at which exactly half value of diffusion current is reached okay 
that potential is called as half wave potential so the definition is what it is the potential at which the current flowing through the cell numerically half the value of diffusion current in the polar ray okay the potential at which the current flowing through the cell is numerically half okay the value of diffusion current in the polar ray is called as half wave potential or its another definition is it is the potential at which one half of the ion okay exactly half of the ion can reach the cathode during the given time are reduced okay that means exactly half number of ions are get reduced okay that potential is called as a half wave potential the numerical value of half wave potential it is a characteristic of the electroactive material okay the half wave potential value is the characteristic of the electroactive material that means from half wave potential we can determine which stresses are present in the solution so half wave potential is used for the qualitative analysis if we know the half wave potential then from the value of half wave potential we can determine which stresses are present in the solution so it is useful for the qualitative analysis and it is dependent independent of the concentration of the electroactive species half wave potential is independent of the concentration okay and it can be used for qualitative identification of unknown substance why half wave potential is important because it is a characteristic value of electroactive material and the half wave potential value is useful for the qualitative identification of unknown substances half wave potential means what this is the potential at which exactly half sorry the current flowing through the cell is exactly half of the value of diffusion current half wave potential useful for the qualitative analysis okay And thus, half wave potential and wave height. Okay, that wave height indicates what diffusion current. Okay, the half wave potential and wave height is the fundamental basis of qualitative and quantitative polarographic analysis. Okay, wave height means what? The height of wave means diffusion current. And by using diffusion current, we can measure the concentration of the species. That means diffusion current is useful for the quantitative analysis. and from the value of half wave potential we can identify which species are present in the solution so half wave potential it is useful for the qualitative analysis so these two terms half wave potential and diffusion current is the fundamental basis of qualitative and quantitative polarographic analysis okay the next point is the oxygen interference okay generally short note is asked on this point oxygen interference okay we know that nitrogen gas is used to, uh, before the measurement to expel the dissolved oxygen present in the solution why dissolved oxygen is removed because that dissolved oxygen when present in the solution it also reduces with the electroactive species and causes some error during the measurement so it is necessary to remove that oxygen before the measurement okay so our point is oxygen interference usually the solution of the electroactive material contains dissolved oxygen which interferes in the analysis the dissolved oxygen is reducible at the dme in two steps in first step it forms h2o2 and in second step it reduces to form h2o okay and hence the polarogram oxygen of polarogram of oxygen shows two waves look at the diagram in first step that oxygen reduces to h2o2 and in second step it reduces to h2 therefore it shows two waves it shows okay a shows what it is the wave in absence of oxygen gas and it is the wave which is in presence of oxygen gas okay therefore here 
polarographic nuisance is observed okay and it is due to the dissolved oxygen present in the solution at voltage minus 0.05 okay at this voltage oxygen which is present in the solution dissolved oxygen get reduced to form o2 minus ion that is superoxide radical then this superoxide radical again um, combined with one electron or it accepts one electron and again get reduced to form peroxide ion o2 2 minus ion okay then the O2 2 minus ion combines with 2 H plus ions to form H2 O2. Again, reduction is takes place. Okay. And at minus 0 0.9 hold, H2 O2 plus O2 2 minus it form twice H2. Okay. It is a reduction of H2 O2 to form twice H2 O. Therefore, oxygen is reduced in two steps. First, there is a formation of H2O2 and in second step, there is a formation of water. So, the first wave shows, okay, this. The first wave shows a sharp and intense sharp maximum. It is called as an interfering nuisance in polarography analysis. So, to remove or to eliminate such interfering nuisance, a nitrogen gas is bubbled out through the solution before the polarographic measurement because when this whole oxygen is present in the solution it reduces in two steps h2o2 and h2o so the sigmoid step curve is not observed in that curve a sharp intense maximum is observed and that maximum is called as the interfering nuisance and so that's why due to the presence of such nuisance we can measure exact value of diffusion current so it is necessary to remove the dissolved oxygen and for that purpose nitrogen gas is bubbled out through the electrolytic solution okay it is the oxygen interference the next point is the polarographic maximum okay look at the diagram the diagram shows what it is the expected curve dotted line shows what it is the expected sigmoid shape polarogram but in some cases a sharp maxima is observed okay that maxima is called as a polarographic maxima to eliminate such maxima we know that a gelatin solution is used okay here we see the polarographic maxima it has been very often found that the polarographic wave obtained with dme are not sigmoid shape okay not sigmoid sigmoid shape these maxima or this sorry these curves are distorted by a large sharp rounded fix okay and these maxima are troublesome because they interfere in determination of half wave potential and diffusion current when such maxima is present we cannot measure exact value of half wave potential and diffusion current so it is necessary to eliminate such maxima okay these maximas are due to electrostatic stirring of electrode surface and absorption of dissolved substances on the surface of the mercury okay such maxima is occur due to the electrostatic stirring of electrode surface and absorption of dissolved substances on the surface of mercury so the height of current maxima depends upon drop time okay the drop time of mercury drop when the drop time is less than three seconds we know that polarographic uh, measurements are accurate only when the drop time is between three to six seconds but if the drop time is less than three seconds then at that time ilkovic equation is not obeyed and due to that stirring diffusion layers are observed okay stirring diffusion layers is observed to measure the true diffusion current the maximum must be eliminated okay or suppressed and it can be done easily by the addition of small amount of surface active agent 
because when maxima is present in the polarogram we cannot determine the correct value of half wave potential and diffusion current so it is necessary to remove this maxima and for the removal of this maxima a surface active agents are used okay surface surface active agent of high molecular weight are used for example gelatin or titron x100 or other colloids are used generally mostly gelatin is used as a surface active agent gelatin is widely used because the gelatin is widely used for suppressing current maxima but gelatin deteriorates rapidly therefore freshly prepared solution should always be used the gelatin solution 0.005% is suitable okay the another example of uh, maxima suppressor is a titron x100 okay non ionic detergent titron x100 is very effective maxima suppressor okay it is a polarographic maxima it is arises due to the two ways electrostatic stirring of the electrode surface okay electrostatic stirring is textless when drop time is less than 3 seconds and absorption of dissolved substances on the surface of mercury to avoid this a surface active agents are used for example gelatin or titron x100 okay generally the 0.005% gelatin solution freshly prepared gelatin solution is used as a maxima suppressor okay